Botox parties. I mean, there's shows where there's characters that are, you know, having Botox parties. A party for Botox. Like, where people sit around and somebody goes around putting syringes in their face. All so that they could look a little bit younger. Do these people not realize what they look like post these Botox treatments? I mean, it's even scary to think that men are doing it. The men are look, I mean, they look like lizard people. And the fact that people are willing to risk something like getting HIV and becoming HIV positive just so that they could take the shot and having a few less wrinkles on their forehead. Nobody's horrified by putting the blood on their face. I mean, this is how they desensitize people, right? We've seen it. I covered this American Horror Story. They had the Kathy Bates character putting the blood on. The witches were doing it in the covens on the show, using it as an anti-aging cream. This is what it all traces back to, right? Everything traces back to the occult. They're normalizing all of the practices that they do. They're normalizing it because they're getting people prepared to be doing it themselves. And people are willingly doing it. This is not being forced upon anyone. This is just social engineering that's making men and women decide that they suddenly want to put blood on their face. They can come out tomorrow and say that a feces facial will work even better and take 20 years out of your skin. And these people will do it. They'll put a clip on their nose. They probably won't even put a clip on their nose. They'll take a dump in a bag. And I mean, it sounds revolting, but this is what we've gotten to. Could you have imagined at some point in time growing up if somebody told you that they were, you know, you should put your own blood or someone else's blood on your face to help with the aging process and the wrinkle process? I mean, this is a scene out of a horror film, right? Just like the other, you know, Santa Clarita diet, right? What was the theme of that show? They were using humor to deflect off of the murdering and the cannibalism that was going on. But they were saying that eating human meat and being a cannibal, that they felt better than they've ever felt, felt younger than they've ever felt, had more energy than they've ever had, right? Use a little comedy, deflect a little bit, have Kim Kardashian come out wearing blood on her face. And nobody's horrified by it. They're interested in it. They're being conditioned into thinking that it's okay and it's normal. And that we all should just be dumping our faces in pools of blood to help with the aging process. Who cares if we get HIV, right? This is all about this me mindset, which I'm going to cover in a video soon, right? Because this is with the Masons. It's all about me. You're your own God. Me, me, me. And this is what we see in today's world, right? Taylor Swift just had a song called Me. What's Facebook? What's social media about? Me. That's what it's about. Everybody using it as a platform to announce their, th ooh, I'm going to announce the gender of my child. Ooh, I'm going to announce, I'm make a special announcement on uh, how my work week went. Ooh, I'm going to make an announcement about me painting my toenails. I'm going to make an announcement about the dinner I just cooked, even though it was a, it was a lean cuisine. Because the mindset has turned into a me, me, me mindset. And that's why people are becoming so self-obsessed that they're looking in the mirror and they're comparing themselves to other people going, I got to look better. I got to look younger. I got to compete with these younger women. These older women are saying, I got to dump blood on my face. And because the effects of these things aren't immediate where you wouldn't, you know, well, HIV could be pretty quick, but like I've said with cancer, because these people, you know, they don't care about the chem trailing. They don't care about the vaccinations and what it does because they can't see an effect right then at that time. Right? They're not going to get the vaccination and, and burst into flames. They're not going to get the vampire facial and have AIDS five seconds later. So people don't care because they just take the chance. Like, oh, yeah, well, if other people are doing it, I can do it. You know, I saw it on Real Housewives. I saw it on the Kardashians. And this vicious cycle of social engineering just continues on. They can convince these people out there in almost anything now. Why? Because they've shoved these false idols inside of this magical television box or across the internet, across all forms and channels of media, and they're influenced by them. Look at her. Oh, look at all the people taking pictures of Kim Kardashian, right? Look at the Met Gala, right? This me, 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 me circus. You would think people would come out and go, these people are a bunch of freaks. This is a circus. It's a charade. No, people were like, oh, excellent. Did you see what they were wearing? 
Oh, I wish someday I could be invited to the Met Gala, huh? Because this is all people strive for now. To be famous, to be rich, to look younger. So these celebrities are going to usher this stuff in, including the microchip. Because as soon as that is getting, you know, gets rolled out big time, which is coming, as soon as that happens, you're going to see all these celebrities like Kim Kardashian using it on their shows. That's why they're positioned in these positions right now. You're going to see them check out with ease and they're, oh, it's so great. And they're not going to make a big thing about it, but you're going to see it. Your subconscious is going to see it. And it's just going to say, oh, yeah, 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 it's not a big deal. I'm not going to hell if I get the microchip. I'm not going to get controlled through the microchip, having this technology inside my body. Oh, and they'll give it away for free like they always do with these things. So I went on a little bit off topic rant here, but I've covered the vampire facial before. And it's a perfect example that you can use to share with your friends to wake them up. Because you could say, look, people are literally dumping blood on their faces because Kim Kardashian is dumping blood on their faces, on her face and these other celebrities. And they'll say, see, yeah, so. And that's what social engineering is. Convincing you through these people, convincing you through their acts to do these things. And all of these things are all things connected to the occult. They're normalizing this stuff, the love movement, right? The Antichrist coming in the name of love. Passing bigotry off as Christians are the ones who are bigots and hateful people. Taking away free speech, the feminist movement, the racial division that they've created in the media, divide and conquer, order out of chaos. And stupid stuff like the Santa Clarita diet, Kim Kardashian pushing cannibalism to feel younger, feel better, and to anti-age by dipping your face in blood. I mean, really, what is next? You know, remember, it's all the stuff that they do is what they're normalizing, and I know it sounds ridiculous, and I know I crack a lot of poop jokes on this channel, but the elites eat poop, literally. And I covered this last year. They did a, a, a study slash article came out, you know, that scientists were studying that there's positive effects of eating feces. And sure, we can all look at it now and laugh and say it's that's never gonna happen, but we got, I mean, what if I told you 20 years ago that three-year-olds would be telling their, their mothers and fathers, even though they have a penis, that they're girls, and the parents would accept it? You'd say, get the hell out of here. That is not happening. Well, it is. So they're passing all this stuff off now. They're coming out of the shadows, and they're passing this off as normal. It's an absolute joke. Risk of getting AIDS and HIV to have a few less years on your face? By dipping your face in blood, is it worth it? Well, apparently it is to some of these socially engineered zombies. Absolutely embarrassing. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families. That was a brother called A Crawl for an Uprising. And the reason I show that is because I just say, let's love ourselves and what God made and how he made us. Because God makes no mistakes. <laughs>